The first faked punt of the series, October 23rd, 1926. With the 114th Brawl of the Wild set for Saturday, it's easy to forget about the previous 113 games unless your Great Falls native Tom Donovan, who fit all 113 previous games into this thick book. So I told myself I had to find out more about the man who documented history. The first Montana Montana State game was in 1897. The first touchdown pass play of the series was November 25th, 1909. If it sounds like Tom Donovan knows everything there is to know about the Cats Grizz rivalry, the first game with four quarters instead of two halves, it's because he does. It was October 21, 1910. The Great Falls resident is a walking encyclopedia of football knowledge and he's crammed all 113 meetings into 846 pages. That's 516 touchdowns, 89 field goals, and 11 safeties all accounted for in a book that's titled Montana's Greatest Rivalry. I have a history of the college game in reference to the, our series. So a person could actually learn the entire thing about football by just reading this book, whether you're a Bobcat or Grizzly fan or anything. It took Tom 15 years to document all 113 meetings between Montana and Montana State. 200 pages alone are references that come from five shelves and a handful of boxes full of notes and research. Basically, all these folders have their own, their own category. It was a mission that the Navy veteran feels that he had to take. With all my uh, Montana histories, I want to preserve history. All these people, all these events would have all been lost, and a lot of these things are lost to history. I haven't been able to uncover a number of things, and those things are gone forever. And Tom's research has brought back facts that even the most story trivia buffs may not know, including four-point touchdowns and five-point field goals, among other facts that are lost in history. They didn't count anything originally. Okay. You won by goals. Hmm. So you won by three goals to nothing. Hmm. They didn't put points on it until later on. The book has had successful sales since it was released, but his biggest reward is when he gets a thank you from the family of a former player who's listed in his book. And that was another rewarding thing that I didn't even consider was when I talked with these uh, descendants where they knew their grandfather played for the Grizzlies, but they had no idea that in, in one game he ran for a touchdown uh, intercepted a pass and kicked his own f extra point. I mean, how many players do that today? We doubt he needs help answering that question, but it's probably more than the number of people who know as much as Tom does about the history of the Cats and Grits. Actually, I'm a better... If you're interested in getting a copy of the book, you can go to Hastings or the website you see listed on your screen, or you can call the number that you see there at 761-1398 to place it. An order. And when I actually asked Tom to pick a winner this Saturday, he simply laughed and said, people ask him that all the time, but he said his heart said the Grizz, but wouldn't be surprised if the Cats claimed a victory.